I should be ashamed having you at the bottom of my contact list. I didn't forget to call you this time. Celestial Tower? The Celestial Tower. A final resting place for Pokemon. I'm sure some kind soul will ring the bell today. We'll be sure to take care of ourselves as we make our way up this rather ominous place. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Pokemon Black 2 and White 2. Last time, we headed out of Mr. Alton City towards Celestial Tower, and now, here we are. At the very top of the tower, there's a big bell. I've heard that when you ring it, it pleases the spirits. Sure hope it doesn't wake them up. Hi there, how are things with Skyla? Oh, you still haven't earned the, the gym badge yet? Well, if that's the case, I'll keep up the field work until the plane is ready to fly. Oh yeah, why don't you try using this? A lucky egg! I, I just, giving the lucky egg to a Pokemon ho hold will increase the amount of experience points received in battle, but having strong Pokemon will make it easier to fill your Pokedex pages. We're equipping that straight away. I'm putting it all on Pignati. Rocky Helmet's good, I think this is better for right now. Listen, I cannot stress how lucky we are to have that lucky egg. I know, it's, it's like the name is fitting or something. Lucky eggs were always a bitch to obtain. They were some of the worst items to get in Pokemon. And in Gen 5 is when they finally started making them easily accessible just so that you can get higher experience points on a Pokemon that you want to level up. It's incredibly worth your time. Oh no, not a Musharna. I, I put Pignati in the lead because I wanted you to level up. Uh, Heat Crash is the move that does the most damage to you, which is sad news indeed. I don't trust that. We're gonna swap out to Aiden. You there. You having a bug type move is gonna help us out quite a lot in the coming battles. Defense Curl, Sinji, we can get past that. You do have a lot of HP. I'm not super worried about Musharna because it has to be so high leveled for it to really have good moves. Yeah, it's just using a lucky chant right there in Defense Curl. It's not exactly a strong Pokemon unless it just waits a million years to evolve. We haven't had a chance to even obtain a Musharna yet, and we won't for quite some time. Doing it again. Just having a battle of the Stallman here. Hit you with a third signal beam so that you can finally rest in peace. Such an otherworldly sounding cry. Aiden gets to level 37. <laughs> Wasn't even you wanted to level up. Muddy Water. That's... 95 power, 85 accuracy. Basically worse surf, but with a chance of lowering the opponent's accuracy. I don't care. Pignati gets to level 35. That's what I was hoping would happen. That's what I care a lot more about. Aiden thinking he's gonna upstage, but his new move sucks, so he was the one who got upstaged in the end. Thanks to my Litwick's Light, my victory has come into view. School Kid Alberta, heck yeah. You got a Litwick on your team. This is why I wanted to lead with Pignani. You being a fire type and you having high attack and it kind of not having those things, but you having Bulldoze and Rock Slide, you're gonna be an excellent fighter for this. You could knock out a candle. Oh, it, it's a good thing that we're putting you on, I was gonna say steroids, but I guess that would be the vitamins that we're putting on our Pokemon to raise their stats, not so much the egg that they're eating for breakfast to get it. Ah, I lost versus Litwick, how could you be so uh, heartless, I, I think. Losing a battle is so draining, I feel really burned out somehow. I want you to remember her. TM61 Will-O-Wisp. That is a status move that automatically burns the target, though its accuracy leaves something to be desired. 75%, they don't call it willow miss for nothing. Only Pignati's able to learn that, and I don't think status is really the name of his game. It could make him tankier, able to just take more and more hits due to his high HP. Get a Hyper Potion. We got lots of battles on the way up Celestial Tower. When Pokemon trainers meet, what we do is, of course, engage in a Pokemon battle. Don't we? Eh, I don't know. Um, I like that even though you're not sure, you just kind of go for it. So, a few new Pokemon here in Celestial Tower. Let's meet them. Litwick! First off, the higher the floor, the higher the level of the wild Pokemon. 
you get some good levels for just waiting five short floors. Litwick doesn't start out with much. It's one of the slowest Pokemon and is ailed by so many weaknesses, but falls back on immunities to normal, fighting, and fire with its ability. It starts out with Flame Burst for some good damage when it actually gets to go, and it has will of too. This is a rough Pokemon to raise, not evolving for a while and being so weak. But that's enough for the weak-ass flames before it's done growing. You will be rewarded with an incredible nuke of a Pokemon for making it through the terrible twos. Aside from our Energy Ball TM, it doesn't learn much besides Ghost and Fire, but that's still strong. Has neutral damage against basically everything. Flashfire makes it a breaker of any special defense, but it has pretty middling stats everywhere else, with again, a lot of weaknesses. I can't really call this a sweeper as much as it is a wall breaker. It's some of the most intense damage there is, but definitely has downsides to be mindful of in the defense and speed. When used just right, it will burn anything away. Golbat! Happiness evolution? No problem. Should be pretty easy to land the Crobat. This thing will soar through the air at a supersonic speeds. Golbat makes a good lead, able to get out of move against pretty much anything and is easy to switch back into later due to having so many defensive benefits to that type. Furthering this use, it learns U-Turn for a nice switch whenever trouble finds it. It'll need BP to purchase that TM though, so be warned. I wouldn't call Golbat's daddy frail either. It's okay at pretty much everything and has the slight benefit of never flinching. This is one of the few Pokemon that can learn Acrobatix. If it's willing to give up the held item, that can be a great option. TMs and Move Tutors bring Super Fang, Shadow Ball, Zen Headbutt, and even Heat Wave. Totaling it all, Golbat is a Pokemon that can make good use of its intense speed and has a lot of decent traits, even if it's not overpowered. LGM, another slow, bulky psychic type that plays with the conventions. Pre-evolved, its stats are simply sucky and evolves at a high level. Its abilities are only very situational, telepathy only ever does anything in doubles and triples, while synchronize requires them to use a status in the first place. I guess it's at least slow, so it'll be getting hit by those statuses. That's another thing. Its bulk ain't really that bulky. It'll take a solid hit, but then it's likely out of gas the second turn when it's so slow. It's not really able to ever make comebacks if it's at a disadvantage unless Trick Room is in effect, which may be worth teaching it, it's just another step. Every level up move is normal or psychic. It relies on TMs and tutors to be able to do anything else. The move department is okay and all. It's not unusable, far from it. It just struggles to stand out when there's so many good psychics already. What you doing future sight for? You ain't got no future. It's a very insensitive thing to say in the middle of a graveyard. I need to show you what Pokemon breeder George, or uh, Pokefan Georgia was saying there a second ago because wow, that was dark. You want to battle me? I have a strong Pokemon. You battle her, all she has is a cub chew, and then when defeated, she goes, that's right, the strong Pokemon is no longer with me. <laughs> Ouch. Just freaking ow. That hurt me to read, damn, just, I don't know what it is with Pokemon. There just always has to be a graveyard area in the game. There always has to be like some Pokedex entry or text that you will read every playthrough that breaks your heart. I know they just love traumatizing little children in these areas, but man, that is sad. It's, it, I feel like it's become a sort of the part of the series identity at this point where everybody just associates Pokemon with really scary stuff or really heartbreaking stuff. And I remember even as a kid, I didn't fully get how creepy it was. I remember that I didn't really understand the creepiness of Lavender Town as a kid. I just thought like, oh, there's just a bunch of crazy old ladies spouting nonsense and you know, oh wow, people are stupid. Pokemon don't die, they faint. And I didn't get that, yeah, they also do die and that's what they're saying here. It, yeah, it was kind of lost on kid me. And then as I got older, I realized, wait a minute, they're saying what in Lavender Town? Give me blood, uh, they're channeling? Uh, this game was rated T on a re-release and now I know why. Just thought that was weird. Uh, you need a nurse's help? Sure, if you went against me, I'll make your Pokemon healthy. The alignment of those tombstones just looks like the screen is perfectly cut into two thirds or something. What Pokemon you got? Dixie, you gotta leave Vanny. Well, I got some bad news for you. I got a bird. Well, okay, it's, it's more of a dragon than a bird. Uh, uh, I can go for Rock Slide. Okay, fine. It's still the same. Uh, that might be bad. You're pretty fr- Oh, boy! 
It might be worth putting the Eviolite on you now that I see that. You're gonna faint this turn no matter what. I'm better off just switching into Pignati. Yeah, we'll do Pignati here. Hang in there, Pignati, just a little more. Razor Leaf? Oh, critical hit, okay, okay. I was about to say, you're even weaker than a Slash? We are fine, we are fine. Just crush that bug beneath your massive girth. And level up. It is with your blood that I learn assurance. <laughs> I mean, it's a dark type move. If I'm taking damage in the same turn, it's doubled. I am pretty slow, but I don't think I really want it. I think I'm fine. Yeah, we'll give up on it. Jade grew to level 37. Come on, your team is really healthy. And you will make me healthier! Pignati is evolving! <laughs> Pignati evolved into Embor. We've made it. He's fully grown. Time to give your Pokemon some energy. Oh, gotta match how energized I'm feeling after that. Making Pokemon feel better. That's what I'm here for. I, I like that. That's that's really wholesome. I, um, I don't know. That's part of the reason that I'm an entertainer. Just hearing that I made somebody laugh, I think, is really nice. It, it doesn't matter if they're laughing with me, laughing at me. I don't really care. Just so long as, you know, you're laughing. That's the important part. I know I do a lot of stupid and silly things, and... Maybe you laugh at them ironically, but I think that's kind of nice, you know? We'll swap Pignati into the lead. You get your debut battle right here and now. Not against a psychic. No, we're not doing that. But, uh, sure. You can beat up a grandma. That sounds like a good test of strength. Oh my, what a young trainer. If it's all right, why don't we battle? Yes, let's go on Pignati. Tear that grandma limb from limb. I'm getting way too into this. Okay. Speaking of doing silly things, Socialite Grace sent out Rosalia. <laughs> Oh, we get to dry you out and place you between the pages of a book after this. Embor is incredibly heavy, releasing those clanging dust clouds when it's sent out in battle, making it an excellent user of Heat Crash. Probably why it's a signature move to the family. Gonna gain a lot of experience points there. Got 7,000 for winning that. It might be a good idea to put on some, uh, put on some, uh, amulet coins. You want to rob these people of their inheritance, after all. Let us have our Pokemon battle with gentlemanly reserve. I gotta tell you about a simply inexcusable goof when it comes to Embor. So Embor's black and white Pokedex entry mentions it using a fire punch. Embor couldn't learn fire punch until the second game when it was a move to remove. <laughs> it's so stupid that that was ever a thing and that that got missed during testing. Umbreon, I get to outspeed. I don't really outspeed much, but Umbreon is slow as molasses. You do assurance, I don't care. I'll just break you again. Getting to see the alternatives of what Aiden could have become. Some of you theorize that Aiden would have become an Umbreon, and I could definitely see why. It is better now than ever before, thanks to foul play, as much as I kind of didn't like it before. But I personally felt like it was kind of obvious what it was going to evolve into, given... Given that we already had a fire type and Flareon sucks, I'd already used Jolteon before and we had an electric type on the team. Uh, we had Espeon already being used. I guess I hadn't really pulled it out. I, I didn't really show that I had a psychic type in mind yet. It just, there wasn't really a lot of options of what it could have been. My spirit left me. I'm so sorry that it walked out on you. So many voices fill this tower, eternally silenced. If only someone would just listen. TM65 Shadow Claw! That sure gave the situation levity. 70 power, high critical hit ratio. Pretty decent move. Not nary a soul is able to learn it among our ragtag group. It's kind of a shame that I keep hyping up how Sigilith can learn all these moves and yet it just keeps not happening. It will happen sooner or later. I know that it will. Oh, we're already up at the top. Yes! 
Up at the top is a ghost gem, adding more to our collection. Wow, these clouds look good. Just the way that they're waving and rippling. Man, some of the aesthetics in this game look better than even a lot of modern games that I play. They just, they knew what they were doing. I'm gonna make my mom proud by being the one to ring this bell today. The sound of the bell reverberates through the area. We can't use the escape rope, I don't think, from the roof. We use it down here, maybe. Or dig, that too. Uh, oh, Aiden doesn't know dig anymore. Uh, J Jade knows dig. No, I can't use it here. I guess we'll just walk down then. Everyone loves Litwick. It's one of the most popular Pokemon, I think, that was introduced in this generation. And I have a few facts about it to tell you. Litwick's nose is not a nose. It's actually its mouth with a smile. I always thought it was a little button nose, but nope, it's not. Litwick also originally had a baby form and Lampent was going to be the final stage. We've never seen what this Pokemon looked like, but according to Ken Sugimori, some visualization was made on it before the idea was dropped. They felt it wasn't working. Uh, it was gonna be a flame and they felt like a flame evolving into a candle didn't really make a lot of thematic sense. Thus, Chandelure was created instead, making them all themed around light fixtures. Positive change if you ask me, Chandelure is one of the best Pokemon ever, I think. Back in Mr. Alton City, we got nowhere else to explore. Did you notice that girl I told you to remember was gone? Ooh, they stole her soul. Nah, she just relocated to the Pokemon Center. After a Pokemon battle, I felt a little burned out. But as long as my dear Litwick is with me, I'll be okay. Anytime, anywhere. Litwick's Pokedex entry mentions that it is known to drain life from people. So yeah, it's the cause of her poor health. That's a full day of exploration of the Celestial Tower. We've gotten a lot stronger. Pignati is fully evolved, just in time for a flying gym where it won't get to contribute much of anything. Well, we don't have to talk about that. Next time on Pokemon Black 2 and White 2, we're challenging the Mistralton City Pokemon Gym. See you guys then.